Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Samster. Um, I know it's been a little while. I haven't been uploading videos. Um, I've actually been doing videos for the last couple weeks. It's just, you know, right now all I really got is the phone. So it's kind of like I had to delete some and then, you know, whatever. I'm just, you know, I kind of feel like if it's that important, I'm going to do it again. You know, whatever. I'll, I'll do the video again. So... <clears throat> Right now, I want to do a quick little Samsung shoot because it's been a while, and you know, the Samsung shoots um, my first real successful show on my YouTube channel. Those that are like real old school, long term fans from my original, original channel. Uh, that was the show that, that pretty much started it all. I mean, that started uh, showing me that I could actually go on here and get people to watch it and you know, listen to what I have to say and whatnot. So, um, you know, unfortunately I don't have a computer yet. I'm actually getting one later today. So the good thing with that is I'll be able to edit videos and do stuff. I'm excited. <laughs> but, excuse me, I, I still don't really have internet. The only internet I have is the mobile data stuff and it's not the greatest. I have consumer cellular and I just have it right now because you know I'm not working right now and it's, it's cheap and whatever <clears throat> yeah the other thing is I went over my data <laughs> so my mobile data like was really bad it's one of them <sighs> companies that like you know when you go over then it goes real slow and then no basically the deal right now I could get the same thing with Metro PCS for uh, with unlimited data you know, whatever, this month's already paid for, so I'm hoping after this month I'm going to switch to Metro PCS. Anyway, so let's talk about wrestling real quick. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm a big time wrestling fan. I got into wrestling about uh, mid to late 1999, you know, I was in middle school and everyone was telling me, yeah, hey, you got to watch Raw, hey, you got to watch Nitro, yeah. I miss those days, but I mean, right now, I gotta say right now, I'm pretty excited about wrestling, uh, I, I, I only been, been able to watch a little bit of Raw and SmackDown here and there, um, any AEW, which I'm really excited about, um, <clears throat> or any Impact Wrestling, I've just seen like little clips here and there, you know, heard from friends, uh, I haven't really been able to sit down and watch their shows, uh, but, um, I'm really excited because right now, like, there's a lot of there's a lot going on. There's WWE, there's AEW, which you know looks pretty awesome, and I'm really excited to start watching them. Um, <clears throat> Impact Wrestling. I don't know how they're still around. I mean, apparently, you know, I know they have a lot of diehard fans, which is good. You know, I've always been a fan of TNA. It's confusing, like, like, are they officially Impact Wrestling now as, as a group? Like, it's kind of weird, but whatever. Um, <clears throat> I always liked TNA because they were the alternative. They were different, and, like, when WWE would get boring, I would switch over to them. And uh, it was even better when they had some uh, names that, you know, were, people, you know, like, Kurt Angle jumped when Jeff Hardy jumped. Jeff Hardy's one of my favorites of all time, so is RVD. When they were over there, yeah, you know, some people were bitching, especially about, like, maybe RVD or whatever, but, you know, he's one of my favorites, and he had some awesome matches over there, so. Anyway, um, so, with WWE, because that I've been right now watching the most, um, I'm definitely a fan of Seth Rollins, uh, when he came in, I always kind of knew he was, he was a good wrestler, and he, that he was going to have a bright future, uh, so that's cool, I'm glad AJ Styles is finally in WWE, I told you, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I knew it was going to happen, because, I mean, he's one of the biggest stars to not go to WWE, and I mean, you could only do so much in TNA, and then TNA really started getting bad, and from what I was reading, uh, before he disappeared, um, he, um, wasn't too happy with TNA, I, I, you know, I thought it was cool, he took the world title and literally went around the world and defended it, like, that's real old school, and that was cool, you know, um, <clears throat> but yeah, 
I haven't seen all his matches. I mean, I already know he's an amazing wrestler. He's one of my favorites all the time. You know, I, I I like his style, the fact that he's balanced. He's a little bit of high flyer. He can get real technical. You know, he's just an awesome wrestler, good on the mic. You know, he, he's, he's great. Um, so that's good. I'm glad to see Robert Roode in WWE. Uh, he's always been one of my favorites in, in TNA, uh, one of my favorite heels. Um... You know, I, I like like the the classic uh, kind of character he has with uh, coming out with the robe like Ric Flair. Kind of reminds me a little bit of Ric Flair and like the the old school Triple H, just just not um, not exactly the same character. You know, he's, he's uh, not all like the super rich guy, whatever. Um, I'm trying to think of what else. I'm glad the Divas division, or whatever you want to call it now, the women's division, um, is doing a lot better. Uh, they're definitely doing more matches, you know, now that now, um, I forget if Raw and SmackDown both have women's tag titles, but I know at least one of them have it now, and that's really cool. I remember when TNA did that. It's a good idea, but I feel like it makes more sense for WWE because they have a bigger roster of women, and it makes more sense. I mean, TNA at the time, I don't know, would they have like eight or something, I have ten, whatever, um, it's good, like, I'm, I'm glad now, they're, they're doing better matches, they wrestle better, they're, they're getting more TV time, I mean, that's great, um, I'm even glad that they're doing matches that the men are usually known for doing, I mean, my creator wrestler, uh, uh, Federation thing, uh, CCW, when, when I started doing it, I always felt like, well, hey, it'd be kind of cool if the women do the stuff the men do, like have hardcore matches, have cage matches, etc. I mean, why not? You know, I mean, that's part of wrestling. I mean, the guys do it, why not the women? I mean, women wrestlers are tough as nails, you know what I'm saying? They're not just like the, the pretty, you know, preppy chick, you know, that, I don't know, they're athletic, they're, you know, they're good performers, and yeah, right <laughs> Right now my favorites, um, definitely a fan of Alexa Bliss, uh, I love Sasha Banks, she's awesome, I really like Bailey as a heel, like, that was awesome, I saw her turn, and then she was kind of like, screw everybody, you know, I'm sick of being Mr. Nice Girl, and da da da, -da. that was cool, um, let me see, who else? I like that tag team on Raw. I forget what they're called. They're like that Japanese women's tag team. They're pretty cool. Um, I, I, you know, I always love watching wrestling wrestlers from Japan and Mexico. Like that's always awesome. I, I love that. Um, I'm glad to see John Morrison's back. That's that's cool. Uh, I've been waiting for him to come back. Glad he's in TNA. I want to go watch him in TNA a little bit. Um, I always felt he was an amazing wrestler. I mean, he kind of reminds me of Shawn Michaels, just a little more, well, a lot more of a high flyer. Um, yeah, I mean, he's got the, the character, he's got the look, uh, he's got the skill, uh, pretty good on the mic. So, um, glad to see the thing with Daniel Bryan. Um, I've always been a big fan of him. I'm glad to see CM Punk come back on... Uh, WWE backstage, I, I haven't really been looking into it, but I noticed lately, like, he doesn't seem like he's on the show, I don't know, but he get in trouble, I mean, I know he, he, uh, showed a thing about WrestleMania that him and Triple H was supposed to match, I'm uh, supposed to have a match, but, um, I knew about that when, what was it, WrestleMania 30, he didn't want to do it, because obviously Triple H wanted to get over, I mean, it's like, he always wants to get over uh, I did get to watch, uh, last year, the match with Triple H and Sting, that was cool, um, yeah, I mean, of course, Triple H wins, I mean, you know, it's the, the last WWE versus WCW match, but, it was a good match, I, I, you know, I talked about it with, uh, some friends of mine that are wrestling fans, and we kind of feel like, you know, it should have at least been a draw, um, they definitely should have had a rematch and had Sting go over, in my opinion. Um, I'm really pissed, though. You know, after a while, I kind of hated Seth Rollins because he injured, he took out Sting. And now, you know, we'll never get to see Sting Undertaker. The thing with Undertaker, I'm a big Undertaker fan. Uh, my favorite Undertaker was, like, the uh, 
the Ministry of Darkness, kind of Phenom Undertaker, like the 98-99 Undertaker. Um, I always thought that was really cool. <clears throat> um, you know, his best matches at WrestleMania was Shawn Michaels, hands down. Those two matches are, like, amazing. Probably his best at WrestleMania. Both of their best. Um... I feel like he should have just retired at WrestleMania 30. I mean, he lost. The streak was over. You know, that was it. You know, why keep going if the streak is over? Um, I haven't seen all his matches after uh, he lost to Brock Lesnar. I think I saw one, whichever one was at WrestleMania 31. Oh, it was him and Bray Wyatt. That was pretty cool. I like the Bray Wyatt the Fiend thing going on. The the thing where he does the funhouse thing is a little is, is corny as fuck. <laughs> I think it's funny. He's got the pictures behind him with like the drawings on it. Um, I noticed in a couple episodes of SmackDown he had Zack Ryder. I thought that was hilarious. Um, uh, but yeah, I think Undertaker should definitely retire. I heard about his match with Goldberg. I haven't watched it yet. I mean, that's definitely a dream match. Um, while I was away, I, I thought up some matches that would be cool for The Undertaker to do. It would be cool to see him face, like, uh, Sheamus. Oh, uh, great. <sighs> anyway. So, yeah, he's definitely retired. Um, I heard Kane wants to do a match with him one more time, so they should do that. And then, yeah. I had this cool idea that they should do like a tribute thing to him. He go to WrestleMania, you know. They they won't do anything. They'll just kind of hype up that he's gonna be at WrestleMania. But okay, what's he gonna do? Who's he gonna fight? And then he should do a thing where, uh, maybe fights kind of incarnations of the past Undertakers, like the original throwback, like the super old school Undertaker. And then maybe after that, you know, all the biggest errors of the Undertaker will come out. And they'll face him. It'll, it'll just be really cool. A tribute to his thing. And then, you know, to his career. And then, like, the you know, they'll have the Ministry of Darkness uh, taker. And then after that, you got the biker taker. Comes on a motorcycle and everything. And people go nuts because they're not going to expect that one to come out, you know. Because <laughs> of Vince Man. But, um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh,. Yeah, and I'm just like, we'll just beat them all, and then, uh, yeah, maybe at the end he'll face Kane or something, you know, you know, he, he won't face each one for that long, I, I just thought it was a cool idea, you know, come out to the original entrance and the original themes and all that stuff, like, it, it would just be, like, a really cool tribute to The Undertaker, and then maybe he'll face Kane, and Kane would be like, oh, I was behind this, I was trying to, you know, I don't know. Or you could just, he could come out and say, like, you, you're not what you used to be, the, your career's over, blah, blah, blah. Um, but, yeah, either that or I, I have a feeling a good way for him to go out would be someone officially retires him. Maybe he faces Lesnar again. Lesnar beats him up so bad that he just can't wrestle no more. And he's retired. And then Brock Lesnar always had that. Not that he ended it. Not that, not just that he ended the streak, but that he, uh, and it's the Undertaker's career. Uh, Brock Lesnar has always been one of my favorites. It does suck that he doesn't show up. He's got the Legends contract or whatever you call it. It's got limited appearance appearances. Um, I'm glad they do that because it helps some of the older wrestlers that still kind of got it to stay around. Um, uh, what else? Um... Hmm. Kind of cool. Big Show came back. I kind of feel like, you know, there's not much else he could do with his career. Just saying. Um, I'm glad John Cena's not wrestling as much. Um, I got to say, uh, I definitely, over the years, gained a respect for John Cena. Um, I want to really go back and watch some of his best matches. Um, yeah. Um, I know a lot of people hate on Roman Reigns. I don't really hate the guy. He's not really one of my favorites, but he's all right. 
Uh, I'm not really too big a fan of Corbin. He's... Eh, I don't know. I'm just not buying the whole King character. He just doesn't, like, look it and whatever. And, man, like, they need to push Dolph Ziggler more. I mean, it's great that he's doing stuff in the main event pitcher, but he's not in the main event pitcher. You know, he's a talented wrestler. He's great on the mic. He's he's great. He's a great heel. Uh, I've also been a fan of, uh, what's his name, um... The Swiss Superman guy, I keep forgetting his name, he's cool. Um, the whole thing going on with Bobby Lashley and what's her name, the the Russian chick, that's, eh, it's alright. I mean, it's cool that he's going to face Rusev, two uh, big monsters going at it. That's going to, that's, you know, that's going to be cool. Um, yeah. Um... Roy Rumble's coming up, so who knows? Oh, Edge coming back. That's going to be cool as fuck. Um, I'm glad. I am really hope he's going to be able to wrestle again. He's always been one of my favorites. Um, you know, especially when he was feuding with John Cena and he went and uh, cashed the money in the bank. Like, I went crazy. Like, that was, wow. I was so happy because I was, you know, at the time, I was so sick of Cena being champ and just being shoved down her throats. I mean, any you people that watch my old videos, you guys know how I felt. Um, but, yeah. Um, so, overall, I can see wrestling is in a good place. I mean, um, this is the best time of the year to be a wrestling fan. You know, Royal Rumble and WrestleMania is right there. I mean, anytime I got bored with WWE, this is usually the time I get back into it. The other time will maybe be SummerSlam. If SummerSlam's got a good card, I'll usually uh, be like, all right, yeah, you know, I'll check it out. Da -da -da, you know, um, I'm always going to be a wrestling fan, no, no matter how sucky the product is. I mean, it's like everything out there. I mean, uh, everything kind of could start to suck for a little bit, you know. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, eventually, once I get myself together and I get more internet, whatnot, and have more of a chance to catch up, I'll be doing reviews, pay-per-view reviews, uh, current and old school. Um, want to start reviewing DVDs like the uh, the old wrestling ones. Um, some of my favorites: the Monday Night War, the uh, Rise and Fall of ECW. Those, those are some of my all-time favorites. Uh, I'll do those. Uh, and yeah, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a little bit like right now. I'm just gonna upload this video as is, so I'm trying my best not to mess up and you know whatever. Um, anything else? Yeah, hopefully uh, by Roy Rumble, hopefully I'll be able to watch it, and then uh, if I do, I'll try and do a review video. Uh, if any of my good friends out there got the WWE Network and want to hook me up, I'll just <laughs> I greatly appreciate it. But if not, it's cool. Um, just putting that out there. Um, you know, obviously if I have the network, I'm more likely to do more reviews. Just saying. Um, yeah. So, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to try and do little videos here and there once in a while on Right now I'm not working, so but I'm looking to be starting work soon. So my schedule is probably gonna get pretty crazy. I actually got busy week ahead of me this week. That's kind of uh, the other reason why I'm doing this video. Anyway, I don't want to go to 20 minutes even though we're almost there. Thanks for watching, guys. I truly appreciate it. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share across all social media. <laughs> um, yeah, and yeah. I don't know. Another video will be coming soon. I don't know exactly when. But thanks for watching.